video for assignment 78, math lesson 7.4. Today we're going to talk about parentheses in number sentences. Now you've worked with parentheses in fourth grade, and so let's see what you remembered. In your math message, you were asked to complete problems one and two at the top of journal page 219. Okay, open to your work right now, please, on journal page 219. And let's take a look at your work, see how you did. You were supposed to make a true sentence by filling in the missing number. Okay, so here are the numbers that you should have come up with. Check your work. How did you do? A is 4. B is 6, C is 18, and D is 16.5. Now, if you had trouble getting the correct answers here, just ask yourself this question. What did I do about the stuff in parentheses? Remember when you see parentheses in a problem, that means do me first. Okay, you have to go to the parentheses part and you need to solve whatever is inside the parentheses first. So here we have 2 plus 1 inside parentheses, so we need to solve that by assigning it the value of 3 first. Then we go back here and we do 7 minus. 3, and that's how we get the answer 4. If we just go in order, 7 minus 2 is 5 plus 1, that gets, that gets an answer of 6, okay, and that's not the correct answer because the parentheses mean we need to do that part first. Okay, and number 2, you are asked to insert parentheses to rewrite the following problem in as many different true sentences as possible. Here we have a problem, there are no parentheses. Um, it's sort of ambiguous because it has more than one possible meaning. So in order to be very clear about what we mean, parentheses need to be used. I came up with these four possibilities. Okay, check your work with any of these sentences and see if you found the same ones. Okay, you can pause this video so that you have more time to check over your work and then when you're ready, resume the video. Now, we're going to be putting these notes in your notebook. So open up your notebook to your next clean page. The topic at the top is parentheses. Okay, and you need to copy down all of these notes. So let's talk about this. Okay, when you have parentheses, and these, these are parentheses, these symbols, what it means is that parts in the parentheses are done first. I always think of it as kind of like a little, a little sign, little symbols that say, do me first, do me first. Okay, so you see those parentheses, your eyes go right to them and know that I need to solve whatever is inside here before I can continue on with the rest of the problem. Now, sometimes you'll come across problems that have nested parentheses. Now, nested parentheses are parentheses that are inside other parentheses, okay, which means you're going to have more than one set of parentheses. Now, um, not only just more than one set, but a set of parentheses that are actually inside another set of parentheses. You can also have problems that have more than one set. When you see nested parentheses, you need to do the nested first. So you basically you need to go inside the inside parentheses and kind of work your way out. Let's take a look at an example of how that would work. And this example should be copied down into your notes as well. Okay, so let's say our example problem is 8 plus 6 times 2 plus 2. Okay, and you can see here we've got a set of parentheses, and we also have a set of nested parentheses. So since the nested parentheses need to be done first, I first have to solve 2 plus 2. 
Okay, so I'm going to get four. That's the value that's inside my nested parentheses. Second, I need to solve six times four. Okay, that's the part that's inside the parentheses here. So I'm gonna get 24 for the value inside this set of parentheses. Third, I solve eight plus 24. And then fourth, I know that my solution is 32. Okay, did you notice how we kind of work from our from the inside out? Make sure that you have all of these copied down into your notes before you continue on with your tasks on the assignment sheet.